Hello everyone, it's Chris here, and I am back with another video. Um, so I'm gonna fire up my server here that I have been working on. Um, it's really awesome. Uh, I'm using SFML, so it says running, and it was fairly easy actually to get it to now when I know you know after spending. 10 plus hours with it. It's quite quite easy actually. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna run a client. What is your name? My name is Chris. Wrong. S yeah. Anyway, that's how we spell Chris in Sweden. Yep. All right. Let's run another client. Alex. And here we go. It says to the server. Chris has connected and Alex has connected. So, hey Chris. Oh, Alex says hi to me. Hi, Alex. And it says some debugging here. And then Alex might leave. So, I'm gonna close the Alex client. Lost connection to Alex. Aww. And then nothing really happened because whoops uh, because I there are no other clients to send to so yeah lost connection to Alex alright so I'm gonna print server shutting down please disconnect within the next two four seconds and then it you know if you look on the client, it says server message, server shutting down, please disconnect within the four seconds. So I'm like, oh shit! I got, I have no time, you know, I, the client doesn't disconnect, so the server, and then it says lost connection to server in the client. Yeah, that's, that's it. Um, it's quite exciting because I could use that, what I've done, I can use that create a multiplayer game um, all, I, all I need to do is send XY position for each client to each other that are within a certain range so you know doesn't get overloaded or so it you know so I don't send a lot of unnecessary data and also maybe send a couple of strings like I'm doing now to have a chat system it, it would take a while to implement though just you know to get it to work and stuff but not too long it wouldn't take too long actually and then we would have all the problems with you know the server and you know having it run fast and stuff but that's a whole nother problem I don't really mind that so yeah I'm gonna might implement it in my engine later alright so thanks for watching I'll see you sometime bye